Today's video will be on a somewhat absurd topic to celebrate our recent milestone of surpassing 1,000 views and reaching 50 subscribers. The channel, as of now, may still be quite small, but our community is growing. Before we begin, I would like to extend my sincerest thanks to all those who are subscribed to me, and I hope you enjoy the video. This is Emperor Nero's Porphyry Marble Bath. It is 25 feet wide and weighs thousands of pounds. Historians have estimated its value to be around 2 billion U.S. dollars. The bath is currently on display in the Vatican Museum, but how did it get here? Nero's bath has accumulated much history throughout its near 2,000-year existence and is a testament to Nero's extreme narcissism. Nero was far from a stable leader. Many would go as far as to deem him mentally insane. He had his mother murdered and many Christians killed in horrific ways. He ordered the killings of both St. Paul and St. Peter. Nero was truly one of the most perverted leaders in Roman history. Our story begins with the Great Fire of Rome. In the evening of July 19th, 64 AD, a massive fire broke out in central Rome, leaving 70% of the city decimated. In the aftermath, Nero actually proved to be a strong leader. He drafted plans to rebuild the city and organized relief efforts going as far as to allow the displaced to make temporary residence in his palace. Shortly afterwards, Nero ordered the construction of the Domus Aurea, his new city palace in central Rome. It would be the epitome of Roman luxury, rivaling any previous palaces in scale and opulence. It was completed in 68 AD. However, Nero's enemies, of which he had accumulated many, blamed him for setting the fire. They reasoned that in order to make room for the building of the Domus Aurea, Nero had set the fire to clear space. This further added to his unpopularity. Contained within the palace was the enormous porphyry marble bath, one of many items of splendor that adorned the palace. The marble which it was constructed from was imported from Egypt and was very popular among Roman decorating due to its color and strength. It is only sourced from one mine, making the marble incredibly rare and expensive. Nero enjoyed many comforts of his palace for many years, but after Nero's death by suicide, the Domus Aurea was covered with earth, and houses were built atop it. However, it was eventually rediscovered during the Renaissance some 1,400 years later, and many famous artists, such as Michelangelo and Raphael, visited the Roman palace to see its frescoes. In the years following the palace's rediscovery, Many collectors and organizations began to excavate the palace for artifacts, one of which being the porphyry marble bath used by Emperor Nero. Eventually, the basin was taken by the Vatican Museum. The Vatican Museum was founded in 1506 by Pope Julius II. Its purpose was to house the art collected by the papacy for display. Subsequent popes have added to the vast collection, which includes treasures from many eras of history. Emperor Nero's porphyry marble bath can be seen on display inside the Vatican Museum, surrounded by mosaics depicting Neptune. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already. Every new subscription counts and helps the channel grow. Share this channel with your friends. Until next time.